Right, so let's begin with the day 21, which is phishing analysis. Okay, introduction to phishing analysis. Before that, make sure you have joined the SOC 30 days challenge. It's completely free challenge. And um, I highly recommend you if you're preparing for a cybersecurity role or you want to get into cybersecurity role, try going for this challenge. This is completely free and beginner friendly as well. Uh, this is what you see on your screen is basically our upcoming bootcamp. If you are interested about the upcoming bootcamp, you can find the link in the description as well. Okay. Uh, the, the only limited seats are available. In future, we may run it in a in a in a subscription model, but for now it's completely live training. So make sure you join this session and um, you know uh, become a part of this exclusive community as well. So let's begin with our phishing analysis. What is phishing analysis? But before we even talk about phishing, we have to understand what is phishing basically. Phishing, you know, phishing attack maybe. So phishing is basically, or phishing attack is basically a type of cybercrime where the attacker deceives the individual into revealing some sensitive information, maybe their password, credit card information, or any personal data. And the SOC analyst who who analyze this kind of behavior or uh, the information that's called phishing analysis. So it's a type of investigation of a, a suspicious email or determine uh, if it is crafted by the real attackers, what information it is there, uh, what, you know, that, that's all done with the phishing analysis process. Okay. So most of the time when we talk about phishing analysis, we refer to the email phishing analysis uh, most of the time. But remember, it's all happened because most of the time it is email phishing attack. That's the reason, okay? But don't don't forget there are types of, there are multiple types of phishing attack. We have email phishing attack where you, where the attacker send in, uh, you know, uh, email pretending to be coming from a trusted brand like Microsoft, Google, or maybe FedEx. People trust those email and they click on some suspicious link, right? And um, then we have spare phishing, which is more of a targeted phishing email attack for a specific person. So when we talk about email phishing, this can be a, a group mass email, maybe sent to maybe 1 million or maybe 100 thousands of people at once. But spare phishing is very much targeted, right? So maybe an attacker, uh, you know, went through someone's social media profile and he got the idea about what exactly he is and then crafting an email accordingly then we have veiling which is where the attacker target the uh you know executive ceo cfo and all those folks right then we have smishing which is and phishing done through the sms right whatsapp message and everything then we have wishing which is like uh, uh you know phishing done through the phone call pre pretending pretending it to be from it help desk Maybe they are asking you to reset the password, asking you to share them some OTP and everything. So that comes under the phishing. Then we have clone phishing, BEC, which is very, very common in the industry. So this is where, uh, you know, uh, attacker per, uh, impersonate senior staff to trick HR team or finance team to transfer money. Okay. Then we have uh, different phishing techniques. So uh, you can definitely check this out. Um, you know, display name spoofing. So attacker may change the display name, um, you know, in the email, look like domain. So sometimes you can see this is like, this might look like coming from PayPal, but this is actually PayPi. This is not L, this is I. So this is what we call look like domain. We have URL redirection where you click on some, uh, you know, a bitly link, short link, and that will redirect to the malicious phishing site. There are a few more options. I highly recommend you go through them. Then we have some common tools used for phishing analysis. We have virus total, which is quite useful. In this lab, we are going to use that. Then we have hybrid analysis, any run, oily tool, which is more of to analyze the doc file or spreadsheet as well. Then we have CyberChef as well. Now, in order to perform the phishing analysis, there's a certain process. Assuming it's, a email, it's an email phishing analysis, so we first collect the email in the e .eml format or .msg .msg format. Then we analyze the email header. There are multiple online tools where we can upload it and find out the 
email content. Then we examine the body, uh, email body content, the tone, language. Currently, there are many AI tools available to identify that. Even we have different phishing, uh, anti-phishing tools available as well. Mimecast, uh, Proofpoint, and many more. And uh, then we can scan the URL and extract the indicator and then create the report, right? There are multiple indicators uh, for any e email, uh, suspicious or phishing email. You can look at the email uh, file, which may be attached. Currently, most of the time, these suspicious uh, files are actually blocked by the phishing tool, anti-phishing tool, like Proofpoint. But still, this is something for small businesses, they still lack this capability. So if they, this is an invoice, but the extension is .exe, this is big no, right? Encrypted zip file, this is big no. Micro enabled office file like XML doc file. Currently, most of the uh, businesses are using read only mode just to avoid any kind of infection. Now, the task of this lab is to investigate a lookalike domain, right? So it's going to be really simple. You have a scenario where a security team receives a suspicious email claiming it to be from PayPal. The sender email address is this one. Now, we need to find the rep reputation of uh, this domain. Okay, it's going to be very simple because this is just an introduction. The most simplest thing that you can possibly do is copy this domain. Okay, not the complete email address, but just copy the domain. Go to virus total. Okay, and then hit uh, submit the domain here on the top. Then wait for the response. So virus total basically submit this domain, the sample to all the antivirus in the backend. And then all the antivirus scan this domain name and submit the result. You can see only Sophos detected this as a phishing, okay? But phishing is phishing. So usually one out of 94 is not considered to be a malicious, but still it is good to notice because sometime attacker might be using a fresh domain, which has not been infected so far, or maybe they have got it through their creative mind. So this could happen. This completes our task. Most of the time as a SOC analyst, you use virus total, maybe directly on the website or maybe through the some integration on their EDR tool as well, or maybe SOAR tool as well. But this is how we perform the domain reputation or find the uh, find if the domain is infected or malicious or phishing 